let's look, man. I saw the, the, the week. I saw John Wick chapter 3. I'm going to have to watch it again. I'm going to have to watch it again because sometimes in some of these films, you need to really see it twice to fully take it all in and have a very well-rounded view. But I can still give like my initial reactions and everything. You see, with these kinds of films, you have to understand what they're about when you're going in. It's good to understand what they're about when you're going in. These aren't films that are going for the Best Picture Oscar. These aren't films here to change your life thematically and so forth in a dramatic way. You have to know what you're going into. I am an action movie fan. I am very much into action movies. You have guys who are really into horror, really into action, really into sci-fi. I am really into action. I'm really into, into sci-fi. I'm not really a, a, a horror guy. Um, but like action is my thing, you know? So, there are some things that were done in this film that I need to see again. There are some things that were done in this film that I need to see again because, you see, Chad Stahelski is a stunt director. And he was the stuntman and um, Ken Reeves' body double for all of the Matrix films. So, he understands what it's about and he doesn't try to short change with what it's about. You know, look, I'm giving you action on a very high intense level so i mean if i was because again i don't want to give any spoilers away and so forth if there were any critiques i would have about this was again just from from, from the first watch is um maybe some of the fighting were a bit too long a bit too overdone and maybe they could have been trimmed down a little bit because it just seems as if they were just going over too much rather than really being um condensed in a more effective fashion and you know the way the bad guy was presented, I thought that could have been done differently. Again, when I do my spoiler review, I'll tell you how maybe the bad guy could have sort of been presented differently. But as far as action goes, um, some of the things that are pulled off here, the complexity of the action, the intensity of the action, some of the things that he does. When I was watching this in the cinema, there was a guy next to me who was literally punching the screen. And there were a couple of guys near to, to me, other black guys, who are literally standing up. There was one guy who stood up, I think he stood up on his seat and was just like shouting on the screen. Because, put it this way, the first skirmish that John Wick has is arguably probably one of the best fight scenes sections I've seen in the last 10, 10 years. Obviously, nothing beats Reloaded. Reloaded is probably the greatest action film of all time based on action. Like, nothing will ever beat Reloaded. But some of the stuff that he pulls off with knives and there's a busy that and the guys have some samurai swords in this thing i'm sure you've seen it in the trailer the crew that has samurai swords to hold it down that's why i told you i've, I've got to watch the film again because there was a lot to take in and for me when i watch these action films i look i want to really absorb and take everything in very carefully and really absorb stuff that was same thing with chapter two John Wick Chapter 2, I said, no, look, I've got to watch this again to so really study very closely all of the action scenes to make sure I've not missed anything. But for this, but just from the first watch, when they see that guys are coming for week, they come, they come for week, and I think I have to now say right now that I think John Wick is, is probably the most unstoppable character in close quarters combat. I think if you're in close quarters to John Wick or you're maybe a few yards away from him, I, I, I think he might be unbeatable. I don't think that there's any creature on, on Earth that can actually defeat John Wick either in close quarters or like a few meters behind because this dude is unstoppable. I mean, shotgun, gone, samurai sword. Look, you know, I, I, you know, I learned judo. I did a bit of judo when I was young. Judo is not a joke. Judo is very... So basically, look, all I'm, all I'm saying is this, is that if you're an action movie junkie, watch this film yesterday if you're not really into action movies i don't think this is the film for you this film is strictly for guys who are very much into action films if you're really much into action films they you know samurai swords knives um yeah man I need to watch it again